The dough in the Kenwood is now finished, so I'm going to put this into the bowl for the, just use a plastic bowl for the rise. So I'm going to now put some clean film on here. And already for the rise, I'm going to give it uh, a good few hours because it's not very warm here at the moment. You can hear it in the background my <laughs> the, the dough in the bread baker going round. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put that in a nice warm place. So here's the dough um, that has now risen. This is the dough I made in the Kenwood. Had about another hour on top of the bread maker dough so let's just have a look I'm going to make this up into a dough with exactly the same toppings as before for the previous dough which was the bread maker dough uh, this is the Kenwood dough Kenwood mixed dough so I'm going to put turn this into a pizza and then cook it and see see the difference between the two doughs Okay, that's ready. I'm gonna put the pizza in. I like this pizza uh, oven accessory. It, the heat doesn't come into my face with it and I can still see the pizza being cooked. So yeah. Yeah, I like it. I can see the flames, I can see the logs. I don't, I don't have the burning heat coming out into my face because the, the, the top bit's covered. So, yeah, I like it. What I'm learning from uh, making these pizzas so far is that it's a bit hit and miss with me at the moment on my learning journey with the Uni Pro about the flame on the top. So I'm getting the, the edges cooked um, around here, but the top isn't getting flame cooked as much as I'd like. It did on the other one only because I put the wood in just before the cook or during the cook because I realized it wasn't happening that on the last cook and that's my learning curve right now is trying to balance all of that out I'm, I'm putting my log in just before my cook at the wrong time so I need to sort that out anyhow 
I haven't sorted it out today and yes that top does not look cooked and there is um, some flame cook on there but it's not what I'd like it to be so I just wanted to show you the dough anyway and how it's cooked so you can see like the base is it's really getting a cooking so I'm not balancing it out at all it's the base is getting a cook and then oh, oh. <laughs> the cheese it just fell on my leg um so the the base is getting a cook a very good cook and yeah it's not great I'll show you the dough anyway because this is what this was about how the dough would cook the dough's cooked really well the, the Kenwood's also done a nice job of rising the dough this is a same day dough cook it's fresh dough so yeah it's not it's not bad you know it's nice dough so I'm going to taste it to see if there's any difference between this dough and the other dough. Um, no. I know this one took a bit longer to rise and but actually the outcome of both the doughs on a same day cook, wasp. Oh my gosh, I hate wasps. Where is he? So yeah, I, I that's working progress with the uh, how the flame hits the top for me because it is higher up in the uni as well compared to the uni 3 it sort of misses the pizza if it's not a strong flame i've noticed anyway the the bread maker panasonic bread maker dough was much fluffier and more airy and had risen in the bowl faster at room temperature than the Kenwood did. The Kenwood wasn't as fluffy but it had risen an hour later to the same height but with less big bubbles, more with more smaller bubbles and that showed in the dough as well that the dough even though I stretched it exactly the same this was quicker to stretch, this was easier to stretch and it was quicker. It took me about a minute longer to stretch the other dough into shape. Show the um Some nice bubbling you know for a very short rise it was a few hours that's it's got some nice bubbling in there so the, the taste of the pizza is nice the dough's cooked well the base is cooked well the top hasn't uh, that's my fault due to the flame not being low enough to give the upper part a cook so that's something I need to work on next time but yeah this dough's nice so what I'll do is I'll cold proof them both next for five days and then I'll do another cook maybe with different toppings this time and I'll hopefully get the tops cooked better on both of them because I know I now realize what's um, happening here when I put the logs on. Actually the timing of putting the log on is really important. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.